All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can hook up your PS5 controller to your Windows PC and then use Steam's built-in drivers in order to get it working so you can use it to play all of your favorite games. And it's worth noting that Steam supports both the PS4 controller and the PS5 controller now, so you can use either one of them. So the first thing you got to do is make sure your controller is connected to your PC, either via a cable like mine is, I just plugged it in really quick, or using Bluetooth. Both of these are an option. It's a Bluetooth enabled controller. And then once you've got Steam open, just go to Steam and then go to settings. In the little sidebar here, you see a whole lot of stuff, but we're really only interested in the controller section down here near the bottom. And then the first thing we need to do is we need to enable the support for all of the various different controllers that you might want to use. And that's under general controller settings. So this is going to open up a small window. This is what Steam's big picture mode uses. Uh, you can also set this up using Steam's big picture mode. It's just in a couple of different places. And then up here, we're going to enable PlayStation configuration support. If you think you're going to use an Xbox controller, you can enable that here. Same thing with the Switch Pro controller, and then you can set it up so that it uses the Nintendo button layout so it's a little less confusing. And then down here at the bottom, if you're using a generic controller, that's just a generic USB controller that's not branded from either Xbox or PlayStation, you can enable the support for those down here as well. Steam supports a big long list of controllers, so it may control or support whatever weird controller you happen to have. And then if your controller works, it'll be detected down here at the bottom. See how my PlayStation 5 controller is plugged in? It shows up right here. So with all of this enabled, we'll hit back. And this will just take us back to the main Steam setup. And there's two kind of like configuration areas that we need to worry about setting things up. The first is big picture mode. Big picture mode is like if you're using Steam Link to play on your computer, it's got kind of like a console mode where you can play things in full screen or just desktop mode, which is kind of what we're in right now. And you can basically set these up so that they're the same thing. I don't personally think you need to set these up crazy different, but you can customize this and I'll show you how that works here in a second. So I'll just start with desktop configuration. Here's what mine looks like and it's all set up. Chances are your configuration at home is completely blank and empty and you might be freaking out a little bit. Don't freak out. There's actually a bunch of configurations built into Steam that either they have made or other people have made. And you can click on this button down here at the bottom called Browse Configurations and you can look at all of them. So up here at the top, there's two recommended ones. The first one is Disabled which disables all the key bindings, which is probably what you started out with. Or you could just use the desktop configuration. So if you click on the desktop configuration, it'll show you what all of the different buttons are bound to do. And if that looks like what you want and what you need, you can then click apply configuration down at the bottom and it'll load that configuration in and then you're probably good to go. Alternatively, you can go in here and you can see your saved configurations. You can also go into like what your friends are using. If any of them have set up a configuration and shared it with the community, you can look at community configurations based upon game. Usually there's also some templates down here that you can start out with and customize for yourself. And then there's configuration templates for other games. PS5 controller is pretty new, so you might not find a lot of this just yet, but you can also export your configuration and share it yourself with the rest of the community if you so choose. But for me, I just use the default desktop configuration that makes it really easy. This is what it looks like. And if you want to, you can rebind pretty much all of these keys to do something else by simply finding the hover over area. Like this is what the little clicky over here does. You can select it. And then you can change by clicking on these pull downs what button you want this to be, and you can click on it. It's relatively straightforward. It's just a little confusing and overwhelming 
to begin with. But all you have to do is click on these different things and select a button that you want it to emulate, and that's all you gotta do. For the most part, I just set it up to use this, and that, that has worked fine so far. So after that, we've got the big picture configuration. Big picture configuration, for whatever reason, is already set up, so you really don't need to do much for it. Like, it's already got a bunch of different sections that it's configured to use, and I've pretty much just left them alone. Don't really need to do anything crazy with those. Uh, same thing, if you want to browse different configurations, they're available in these different sections under the Browse con Configs section. And then down here is the Guide button, button Cord Basic Configuration. Same idea. Um, I think these are when you're using the Steam client, but I'm not really sure. I don't remember what the Guide buttons are supposed to be. But the nice thing about using a controller on Steam is that when you use it, you can at any time switch back to mouse and keyboard. I can, so here's me using the, the controller, and I can even use the touchpad right now to move the mouse. So I can use that, that's an option. Here's the joystick moving the mouse, here's the touchpad. Touchpad's great though, I would recommend using that over the regular controller. Um, so that's one option. And the other option is you can at any time switch back to using mouse and keyboard and it makes it super easy. So yeah, that has been a brief look at how to set up and connect your PS5 controller to Steam so that you can use it on your PC to play games. This by default is mostly meant for using your Steam games. However, it's possible to use Steam's drivers inside of other games. You just got to go to your Steam library, and then down here at the bottom, you see how it says Add Game? Normally, this is how you would input a Steam key or a Steam code in order to just add a game to your Steam library. But you can also add anything installed on your computer to Steam. It doesn't give Steam, like, control over it, and you're not, like, assigning it to your Steam library. All you're doing is adding it to Steam. Steam will then launch it for you and then it adds in Steam's overlay, which would then allow you to use the drivers from your controller. And to add a non-Steam game, you just click on this button right here at the top. It says Add Non-Steam Game. Select what program you want to add. Click Add Selected Program. It'll show up over here in the sidebar, and then that's all you got to do. Although it is a little laggy because there's a lot of stuff hooked up on my computer. So I'll just see if I can't close this without it freaking out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This will work for Xbox controllers, PS4 controllers, PS5 controllers, Switch Pro controllers. It will not work for the Joy-Cons. You're going to have to use a different program for that. So that'll be it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.